Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are still a subscriber, I still can't talk. If you are still a subscriber, then thank you for staying subscribed, even though I haven't filmed in quite a while. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome and thank you for taking the time to watch. Um, update in terms of, you know, I was going through the, I uh, had to titrate back up again from two or 0.25 all the way back up to 2.4. So I have since done that um, because my insurance started to cover it again. So I'm very thankful for that. So yeah, I have been on the 2.4 for um, a few months now. So that has been going very well. Um, I did kind of stall out for a long time only because I was just eating enough to maintain the weight that I had lost. Um, I really wasn't pushing, um, I really wasn't pushing the mark to lose more even though I still want to lose 15 pounds. I really wasn't pushing it because again, I was just in the throes of life, just my everyday. Um, I had got accustomed to, accustomed to pretty much eating the same things every day, so that was easy. Um, but yeah, I pretty much was just taking in enough calories to maintain my weight, again, without all the food noise. Um, so now I'm at the point where things are a little bit more settled. And then I've got a, uh, <laughs> a partner in this with me now, which is my husband of 26 years. Uh, so he, and I, I, I sent out a video um, earlier, mm, earlier this week, we went to the gym, but yeah, my husband is now on board, but he is starting Zepbound. So let me just kind of back up just a little bit. I know my previous video before this, when I had a little short wig on, um, I talked about hair loss. Now, prior to that, I had locks in my hair. So I had locks for about a year and I would just wear them under my wigs because I am a wig girly and I just love, you know, being able to switch my looks around. And so I really hadn't noticed any hair loss because you know that's how locks work as your hair sheds it tends to grow and it's calling the lock and then it becomes you know wider or longer or what have you depending on how your hair is so I hadn't really noticed it but I since have cut my locks off <sighs> and oh boy oh boy the hair shedding has been insane like it it like just doing this I just have hand, handfuls of hair and I'm just like, oh my God. So, you know, long hair, short hair, I don't care. I just went and just cut the rest of it off, went to a salon. I'm like, hey, cut this down as short as we can go. I'll put a picture in, just kind of show you kind of what it looks like now. Uh, but yeah, so I've since done that. Um, and I also have since pushed the envelope again to start losing more weight, um, Right now, I am at 2.03, and I was up to, I want to say my highest weight was 2.52 or 2.56, something like that. But with me, I was losing a lot, of, I've had a lot of fat loss, so we've got this scale that we bought, and once you sit on it, like, well, sit on it, but stand on it like barefoot, it kind of tracks your um like muscle and your fat and things like that. So um, I have since lost some fat, actually a lot of fat, uh, even though at one point the scale wasn't moving. So my goal weight is like 185. Again, I'm 202.6 or something to that effect. So I haven't even broken 200 pounds yet. So, you know, but that is the goal. But again, because I've been losing fat and I have been weight training, um, you know, I actually don't look that, different from when I was weighing 185 and I'll try to insert a picture here versus kind of what I'm looking at like at 202 versus 185 so I'll put a picture here also because I'm visual and you guys know I like to add pictures just so you can kind of see um so yeah so now again my husband he did try to get Wagovi but obviously Wagovi is still trying to you know crank out the demand um they've not been able to keep up with it so 0.25 is still you know it took him weeks and he still couldn't get his hands on it even after having that prior authorization um so they recommended zep bound so i'm like mm, i've kind of heard of zep bound uh, so we had to do our research on it obviously uh, zep bound being the equivalent of wagovi 
um, a spinoff from Manjaro, which is um, primarily for those that have diabetes, and then Zepbound is for the weight loss. Um, also, I noticed that I had been in some like um, different groups and things like that, just trying to educate myself on like what you know what's going on with the Zepbound, and people are saying that you lose weight you know, you lose more weight or faster. Anyway, it's supposed to be more powerful. Um, so with Wagovi, uh, with the, um, oh Lord. Um, what is it? Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. What is it that's in uh, Wagovi? The, um, I'm gonna say trapezoid, but I know that's not it. Oh, myglutide. So myglutide for Wagovi and myglutide. Um, there's a GLP-1, which you know helps to um, keep your stomach from emptying. Kind of helps with those brain receptors uh, to make you feel full longer. Um, now with the Zepbound, it also includes it, it includes GLP-1, also GIP. So it's another type of semaglutide that is in it with the um with the trisepatide so it's like a double it's like more potent um, because it does have those two compounds in it and so um you know people are saying that has more of a benefit for them now again i'll put some in because i talked to my husband i'm like he didn't really get on he didn't really want to get on camera right now so it's just like well i ask questions and kind of put some videos and things like that so you guys can see it too kind of took it in the stomach um i'll show you guys that we took his measurements and everything like that um i kind of told him hey you know the dry mouth the fatigue all those things that i experienced like my first couple of weeks with um Wagovi, he did get the dry mouth and he's been on it for one month so far so let me just say that he's been on it for one month and he's lost about 11 pounds lost a total of 15 because he kind of started right before just kind of eating right and starting to go walking and things like that um he has lost about 10 11 pounds since he's been on the zet bound um he's not experienced any fatigue he says he felt like he had more energy um he did have a couple of periods and he said those lasted maybe a couple of minutes where he felt kind of nauseous he maybe had went too long without eating um so you know he's just eating smaller doses and things like that but you know he's he's just like super excited now the doses because i know a lot of people are wanting to say hey I want to switch from Wagovi to Zepbound, plus I can't get Wagovi anyway, so I want to switch over to Zepbound and maybe I'll have more luck. You know, the dosing schedules are totally different. I'll put those up here too, so it's not equal. So say like me, I'm on 2.4. If I wanted to go over to Zepbound, I'd probably have to go over and down to like, um, I don't know, maybe 10 because um, I think it goes all the way up to 15. So the dosing schedules are definitely different with this. Um, it does have, it is still once a week. Um, I want to say the price wise is similar, but insurance also covers these up bound for him. Um, and then also something that I read today in this article, which I thought was like really, really interesting, was this doctor was talking about the semaglutide and different tips to help aid with the weight loss. And they were basically saying that um, you know, we try to drink enough water because obviously, you know, our kidneys have to filter all of this medication and things like that. Um, and then water just for, you know, hydration, and, you know, healthy kidney function and things like that. Try not to drink water 30 minutes prior to eating and not during eating and then not 30 and not to have water within 30 minutes after eating. And he said the reason is because the whole point of um, being on this magnetide is to make sure that that food stays in your system longer to keep you full and more satiated for a longer period of time. But um, if we're drinking a lot of water, you're pretty much pushing that water through your system and it's going to have the opposite effect like you're going to find yourself hungrier and then he also talked about how um, if we're still eating a lot of sugar um, that that actually will um, create hunger cues in your brain that you know like it's working against the medication so I thought 
that's interesting. You know, I do try to, you know, get enough protein, but they really are kind of um, saying, hey, try to get the protein in because that's going to make you feel fuller longer. Also, also with the fiber. Um, it also said they did not recommend intermittent fasting on this. And again, these are things that I had not heard before. But again, I've been on the 2.4. I've been on my maintenance dose. So I really hadn't um, looked at a lot of it and things that had been coming out. But um, yeah, I was reading, you know, I've been in like the subreddit accounts and things like that, just trying to, you know, get myself back acclimated on what's happening. Um, I do know that Novo Nordisk is also, they're like building more manufacturing facilities so that they can kind of keep up with this demand. So that's one thing that, you know, obviously that's going to increase the, um, that's going to increase um, the supply. So hopefully people are able to get their hands on it more. Um, I also know that Weight Watchers, you know, they're partnering with Wagovi. So, you know, you can, if you're joining Weight Watchers, you can get Wagovi like that also. Um, and then also Novo Nordis, which is the maker of Wagovi, as well as Ozempic. They have a partner with a bio firm um, to take the weight loss um, game even further. So they're trying to figure out a way to manipulate sales in order to, in order, in order for the sales to burn themselves off. What? Here we are. Here we are. And so, you know, they're partnering with two bio firms in order to make this happen. So they are investing money into this because again, like, obesity is a disease. So I know a lot of people say, well, I don't, you know, I want to get off of this. I don't want to stay on this forever. Well, some people may not have to stay on it, but it is meant to be on, it is meant to be taken long term. Um, so again, because they are treating obesity like a disease, you know, if you stop taking this or things change drastically, you can regain the weight. Yeah. So I was, remember I was off of it for eight months. Um, I really didn't gain any weight back. It kind of stalled, thankfully, but it, ooh, it was like hard work. I was taking ass for God. Like I was trying to take things to suppress my appetite, you know? So even though I didn't gain, you know, weight back, or anything like that. What I did notice was that the food noise came back, hot flashes, like all those sorts of things kind of came back like roaring in. So I was off of it for eight months. And then obviously when I got back on it, I had to start from the bottom. So also I want to say this, if you have been off of some magnetite for any amount of time, if it's been six weeks, no, four weeks or longer, do not, I implore you, do not, do not, start back at the same dose that you ended on because this takes about five to six weeks to completely get out of your system so if you go back in and say you're in 2.4 you're insurance you lost your insurance for a month and a half or whatever it may be and then you start to take it back again no 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 you're going to be gravely like gravely ill like where you need to be hospitalized for a few days you know I, like your system it's a reason why we you know have to try titrate up to those doses so you know if someone's was like hey i have this left and i want no, no 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 like don't do it like don't do it and i know i'm being dramatic but i'm just trying to be uh, as i'm trying to reach you if you're even if you're looking at this and you're thinking about doing like please don't you're going to get gravely ill okay so please don't do that who was that i think cnn put out an article saying that with Zetbound and Manjaro, um, Eli Lilly is the is the manufacturer for that. Eli Lilly is the manufacturer for Manjaro and Zetbound, and Novo Nordisk is the manufacturer for Wagovi and Ozempic. Well, Eli Lilly, they are saying that where they have made a platform where you can actually get your prescription filled through them instead of having to go to a Walgreens or a CVS or anything like that. I'm like, they're like right, cutting out the middleman. I'm like, that is so smart. Like, I don't know what Novo Nord is doing, but they need to get on top of it because they need to make sure that this is more accessible. And I also believe, and please don't quote me on this, that with Eli Lilly, you can actually get it for like 50% off or something like that. Oh my God, I hope I'm saying the right thing. Um, I'm going to look further and then I'll put it down here on the screen. Just, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's really good to have an accountability. 
an accountability partner and then also with my husband just getting on his let me just stop saying my husband his name is Damon and with Damon getting on his now um, you know it's kind to it's kind of rejuvenated me it's just like you know what okay this is good you know we're buying these different foods and you know going through the gym and then I went um, and purchased this walking pad on TikTok um, if you're not following me on TikTok, you should follow me on TikTok because, you know, I update over there a lot. I'm just kind of goofy over there. Um, but I bought this walking pad. I'll put a clip of myself kind of walking on it. And, whew, and usually, oh, this is going to change things for me because uh, my goal is to try to get like 10,000 steps in, 10 to 12,000 steps in a day, which I think is going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, because I'm, again, I'm trying to get out to that 185. So I think that's the sweet spot because my body has just been loving this over 200. It's just been like, no, I like it here. I'm comfortable. I think we look okay, you know, but I need to get my BMI because my BMI is still too high. So even with that, even though BMI like that can, you know, we can go down another rabbit hole with the whole BMI because according to who, but then it's like according to science. But I mean, is that based off of somebody, you know, we're not going to go that way. We're not going to go. We're, we're just not going to do it. But anyway, it is so good to see you guys. Um, again, I thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any updates or questions, um, please put them in the comment section below because you guys know how we do this comment section. This is, we've got our own own little subreddit blah, I can't talk. we have our own subreddit of uh, information going down in the uh, in the uh, comment section so um, you know see me down there I'll be happy to talk and chat and just kind of share with you things that I have figured out um, and just come across and then again I am learning too so if you got new information that maybe I had mentioned in this video then definitely um, share that as far as the hair loss i feel like i kind of should touch back on that again because i wear a wig so you know but for people who may not wear wigs then there's like biotin and you know hair growth things that you can take for women that can maybe stop the shedding and then promote the hair growth because basically the hair is still growing but it's like the phase where you know how it goes in the different phases the hair growth phase you know the phase where it's not growing and then the phase where it's shedding like that shedding stage like happens faster so it seems like you know man am I gonna have any hair left on my head um so yeah that's the thing but yeah, other than that, I'm going to stop chatting and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not and you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.